From Studio 1A in Tampa, Florida, comes a talk show that really feels your pain and tells you like it is. We love America and all that freedom-loving Americans want to protect. Live from coast to coast and on your radio, it's For the People with Keith Allen. We'll help you survive this thing called life with For the People. Whatever your source of stress or strife, For the People is there. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. America. I am Keith Allen and proudly welcoming you into this Monday's edition of For the People, December the 4th, 2017. And I am enjoying today a divine cup of coffee in my For the People coffee mug. And if you, you're you not drinking your coffee with the For the People coffee mug, you're really missing out because this this uh, this French coffee from Starbucks, it's their French blend, is unbelievably just tasty this morning i don't know what it is it's just it's so good and starbucks is not making a dime off me i just we're serving that's that's what we're having i mean i go back and forth from starbucks to eight o'clock from eight o'clock to cafe bustello so i kind of mix it up yeah i don't like i don't like weak coffee uh weak coffee just doesn't work out um i was up in spring hill and uh, moving my stepdaughter on Saturday and uh, at the Cracker Barrel, they serve, you know, pretty fattening foods and all that, but their coffee is not divine. I mean, if you put two creams in there, I mean, it's you're drinking cream. It's like water. It's just, I, I don't know what, it, some people might like their watered down coffee, but that's just, that's not coffee. And if you're trying to like resemble the Wild West, I mean, that's not campfire coffee, baby. That is just, you know, you get the point. You got to have some coffee. If you're going to drink coffee, drink some coffee. Don't drink water. You got to have a little kick to it. Anyway, lots going on. Hope you had a nice weekend, did you? Awesome. Got the Christmas tree up. Got the wreath up. Something up. Resembling. Merry Christmas. Okay. And even if you don't feel merry, uh, it's it's nice to have that atmosphere there. Come on, you got to crack a smile once in a while. I know there's a lot of craziness in the world, but you can't be a Scrooge. I know some people work really hard trying to be a Scrooge. This is what they do. And I think they save it up all year round to just be. And you know who the Scrooges are in your family, and maybe you're one of the Scrooges. But don't be this year. Surprise them. They'll, they, they will not know what to do if you reverse it on them. This is like reverse psychology. I'm still trying out this year. I know you're saying, well, you know, if I stop being Scrooge, then they're going to expect me every year to be the Santa Claus. I, I can't do that. No, no. Bah humbug. No, be nice. Come on. None, none of us know how many years we have left. As I tell my daughter at 14, still tell her at 14 years old, I'll be telling her when she's 25, it's nicer to be nice. Truly. All right, a Harvard Law professor, and if you don't know who Alan Dershowitz is, he has been a lifelong Democrat, but he points out some very important things here about the hope over reality. Harvard Law professor Emirates Alan Dershowitz disagreed with claims that there is an obstruction of justice case building against President Donald Trump which he's calling it hope over reality from some Democrats, such as Senator Dianne Feinstein of California said on meet the press that a Senate investigation into Russia's meddling in the 2016 presidential election has revealed possible obstruction. I see it in the hyper frantic attitude, frantic attitude, of the white house, the comments every day, the continual tweets, and I see it most importantly in what happened with the firing of Director Comey. And it's my belief, this is Diane Weinstein, Feinstein, who uh, sometimes called Weinstein, she's such a whiner, that is directly because he did not agree to lift the cloud of the Russian investigation. That's obstruction of justice, Feinstein said on Fox and Friends. Dershowitz countered that Trump had the constitutional power 
to fire FBI Director James Comey and to tell the Justice Department who to investigate and who not to investigate if Congress were ever to change charge him with obstruction of justice for exercising his constitutional authority under Article 2, we'd have a constitutional crisis, Dershowitz said. He explained that Congress would have to demonstrate clearly illegal acts on Trump's part, such as former President Richard Nixon, remember that, paying hush money, telling people to lie, and destroying evidence in the Watergate scandal. There's never been a case in history where a president has been charged with obstruction of justice for merely exercising his constitutional authority. That would cause a constitutional crisis in the United States, Dershowitz said, adding that he hopes special counsel Robert Mueller understands that before he considers bringing an indictment or recommending that matter be referred to Congress. And, he continues, Senator Feinstein simply doesn't know what she's talking about when she says it's obstruction of justice to do what a president is completely authorized to do under the Constitution. He added that if Trump truly wanted to impede Mueller's investigation, he could have pardoned General Michael Flynn to prevent him from cooperating. The president would have the complete authority to do so, and Flynn would never been indicted, never would have turned as a witness against him, says Dershowitz, a lifelong Democrat. Folks, here's a lifelong Democrat. Dem dissing the left, but calling it fact for what it is. He's not delusional, not drinking their Kool-Aid. Pointing out the obvious, a constitutional crisis, and that's what would happen. Trump has done no wrong. He's done what every other president has done and has the authority to do. But it's nice to be able to come across articles like this and to broadcast them and, you know, verbatim, word for word, because the mainstream media will not do this. This will not be on the headline broadcasts. Whoever's sitting in for Matt Lauer on the Today Show, they're not going to be putting this up front and center and talking about this. CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS. Not a chance. It's not going to happen, folks. It's an all-out assault on Facebook over the weekend. I had uh, put really, uh, in our opinion, at least here on For the People and anybody that's followed For the People, is, you know, we're on a mission here. We're here to enlighten the masses, enlighten the realities of what you just heard, even from a Democrat, So you understand the foolishness and the untruths that are happening throughout our country when it comes to the mainstream media. It's a shame that it's the mainstream media, by the way. But it is. We only have what? Fox News Channel on cable? And then on radio, there's some that are good. I like Sean Hannity. People ask me, who else besides yourself do you like? There's, There's many others. I like Rush. That's, it doesn't offend me to uh, talk about competition. I like Glenn Beck years ago. Ah, he beat up Donald Trump, and I just didn't like him. He attacked him. I didn't like him. Now he, you know, he, he, look, everybody's got to reinvent themselves. Uh, Michael Savage, think he's good. He makes me laugh. And the Grease Man I miss. Remember the Grease Man? But anyway, you just don't get a lot of clarity on a lot of broadcast out there really breaking things down and taking a Kodak moment, if you will, referencing old school, but seriously, getting it, understanding it, and then being able to pertificate it. But the biggest thing is to wrap all of this around because I get calls from people. My own brother, who got shot, by the way, and he's doing better, but he's in a lot of pain. He got pistol whipped um, on his way home from, uh, I guess he was walking out of a convenience store into his car anyway. The three, four thugs attacked him and got his bubble gum. He had no cash on him. And with a pistol, pistol whipped him, as he put it, 
um, they, the, the gun went off. And a lot of the shrapnel went into his brain. So they had to do surgery. And he looks like Frankenstein. No, I'm not going to post any pictures of my brother. I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're very close. It's, yeah, it's, it's very tough to see him in this situation. But he's a fighter. He's a fighter. And uh, we're praying for him. But anyway, you know, he said, oh, God, how can they say the things that they're saying? I mean, shouldn't there be any repercussions? ABC, they just can one of their correspondents for mistruths. And what was that all about? Oh, Michael Flynn's going to testify against Donald Trump. There's nothing been said about that whatsoever. That was po- total, total boulder dash. I mean, unbelievable. And he says, well, but, but shouldn't there be any, you know, fines? Shouldn't it be charged? Should there be any repercussions against media that continues to do that? He said, well, they, they let the guy go temporarily without pay suspended him temporarily i mean remember was it uh brian williams from nbc news i I can't think of nbc news without tom brokaw good evening nbc news uh (laughs) with some cognac underneath the desk uh they let him back on the news after he said that he came under fire with his uh, Chinook hop helicopter and he never came close to being under fire, he lied. And, you know, and, and he's still on there. That's the best they can do. That's, that's the very best. Forget about credibility. Forget about it. Doesn't matter. Uh, I, I'm sure that for some journalist over there, um, at NBC, that that matters to them. But when you have executives that are telling you really, in essence, what you can and can't say, then that journalistic integrity kind of goes out the window. No, don't have a conscience. No, don't have one of those. No, we got to have a liberal smear campaign. We have to smear it up. Put a little truth into it and then smear it. Smear it just enough to where it's crooked enough to where it seems like, yeah, that Trump. Yeah, he colluded with the Russians. That was the only way that he was able to win. And, you know, they're still saying it. They have nothing else to say but those things. And there is no proof at all. Because if there was, ladies and gentlemen, to your friends on the left, He would have been impeached already. If there was any merit, any truth, any fact, he would have been out of there. Out of there. Quickly. Decisively. Shoot. You got to read this article by Alan Dershowitz. Look it up. Disagreed with the claims that there is an obstruction of justice case building against President Donald Trump, calling it hope over reality. You can hope, you can pray, you can put your hands on the TV and hope all you want. But Donald Trump's staying, he's there to stay. Oh, and you know, uh, Barack Hussein Obama, you know, he's on this apology tour. Uh, The the latest was the climate deal. Did you see the the latest with the, yeah, the climate deal? deal uh, apologizing saying it's just it's a temporary setback with the mo- um, the money that's being put forward towards these environmentalist groups that uh, it's temporary suspended uh temporarily uh, instead of putting their own money into it which he could do running his mouth trying to discredit and Donald Trump by the way if you read into the climate he didn't say that he didn't believe in any of the information the scientists were given. It's that we were putting, flipping too much of the bill like we've done with NATO, and look what happened with NATO. Other countries are actually paying up. Look at the United Nations. Same story. A good CEO, CFO, looks at the books, where the money's going. 